Welcome to another episode of Clarified Moments, where we hope to bring clear conscious thought, which is the ability to think rationally from a place of logic and reason versus emotion. To exercise critical thinking skills and criticize your own thoughts to remove warped views and perspectives that hinder common sense. The Slap Heard Around the World At the Oscars, Mr. Will Smith appeared to defend his wife's honor, although an admirable and honorable thing, let's look at it a little deeper. I believe that there's a deeper point of clarity we can pull from the situation. Before we begin let's take a look at the entire video. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Alright? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh Richard. <laughs> Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> Nick, my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a GI Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can go. Oh, okay. That was a. Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So Before the slap, everyone's laughing and Chris Rock's banging on everyone, but then he cracks on Jada. Dot and even Will Smith laughs, but then something happens. Jada takes offense to the joke and gives him the evil eye. This is because, Jada suffers from the autoimmune disorder alopecia, which causes bald spots and hair loss. Shortly thereafter Jada must have gave Will Smith the same evil eye, this compelled Will to defend his wife's honor, as I said earlier, which is an admirable and honorable thing, so what could be wrong with this? There is an old biblical proverb that says better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. One of the most common weaknesses in man is his inability to control his desire for pleasure and or approval from women. Rather you called a simp, sucker, it usually is applied to dating and or boyfriends but certainly can apply to husbands. Present culture has cultivated the some sort of female worship, whether it was the local goddess, priestess, mother, or the culture of chivalry that said go and fight, and die for the queen. Again this is cool, within certain limitations and within the proper context. Most women will not understand this. The point of clarity is this it is prudent for a man to know who he is in Christ, to then find a godly woman to be his wife and help me, treating her well as his equal, but also leading her with his regenerated mind and in truth of their designed roles according to foundational truth. If she is quarrelsome, it is likely because he has compromised for her approval or physical pleasure. For a godly woman, it is right to speak the truth to her husband as his main counsel and to be direct but loving and respectful as she approaches him. This is all very complicated, as each situation is different with different circumstances, but what the proverb says is true, having no wife is better than having a quarrelsome wife. A man should take care that he loves his wife as Christ loves his church. And he should pursue righteousness while covering her in prayer and washing her in God's word, confirming and reaffirming who she is in God's word as to speak against any accusation that says otherwise. This includes jokes. In this when he is compelled to defend her honor it's organic and true and not compelled by a contentious or quarrelsome spirit. 